Hello YouTube. Over a period of time on our 2004 Cavalier we've replaced everything. Uh, we had one bad CB shaft so we replaced both of them. Okay. So we have two of these. Okay. And we have two of the front bearings. Where the shaft goes through the bearing. I'll slide that on there and show that. Here's the rear wheel bearing, the rear brake hub, okay? So I have two of everything. Two rotors, two hubs, two front bearings, two back bearings, two CB shafts. We need to make something out of this. We've been wanting to make a rotary table. So we have a fixture with our cutting torch to cut circles out. And here comes the train every time you want to make a video. But we will pause and put these together and put this bearing on the shaft. Bear with me and you won't have to hear the train no more. Okay, hopefully the train's far enough away. Okay. Here's the back view. Here's how they go through the front rotor. It's three volts. There's your spline through your shaft. Here's how they go on the back. Some of these had an ABS sensor. This did not. The ones we bought did. We wasn't sure. We had one shop tell us one way and one the other. They both will fit. So if all they have for your 04 Cavalier is with this ABS sensor, just buy it. The only difference is back here there's a little sensor built in there with a wire. No problem. That's four volts, that's three volts. Okay. We'll pause again and we'll show this on the shaft. This, I don't know what I can make with these. I thought about making a little trailer and put them inside of a piece of four inch square tubing. It comes up approximately. Uh, one of the, the both bearings are war. They are growly, but around the yard it does not matter. I do not know if these come apart to grease them. It'll be a future video, okay? So, these are going to be more or less probably for a trailer project. I have to go buy some lug nuts, and I'd have to find a couple rims. Okay, so we'll pause again. We'll get this all on the shaft right here. Nice pointer. Old uh, K40 CB antenna where you slid this to tune it. Don't get off the subject. We'll be right back. Okay, we don't want to get zoomed in too far there and have a grainy video, but... I think you get the idea. Your rotor would go on. This would be the outside, so it would step over this. Your shaft goes in here. What I thought about doing was mounting this to something, okay? Chopping the CV shaft apart, okay? Taking the piece out, putting a pulley on it to drive a motor or a uh, gear and a chain or something to turn it by hand. Because I'm going to be going slow if I cut a circle. So I can actually turn it by hand. My cutting torch fixture would hold the head of the torch. Say your torch, it'd hold the head of my torch at a predetermined height, getting big words, and it would cut. So as soon as you start cutting with the torch, you could turn this to something, but you wouldn't want to grab your metal by hand, but depends on what gloves you had on. So you would be turning it on something that spins, which would be this or even one of these. The trouble is, how am I going to hook my metal down to this? Okay. What I thought about doing was put this on backwards. Say it was on backwards like that, right? That would be up. Maybe drilling some holes. <clears throat> Excuse me, drilling some holes, okay? Get a frame here. Drilling some holes, right? On center. I can do it good enough on my drill press. And then weld a couple bolts to your piece of plate steel. Of course, you'd have I'd probably chop one of these down smaller. Say I wanted all my stove tops for wood stove to be bigger than this. I'd be cutting out here, okay? Weld a couple little bolts to the piece of plate steel. Small, they could be quarter inch. But just to hold it. Quarter inch, you could be eighth of an inch pin and go through a hole, I thought of that. Just braze an eighth of an inch pin into the steel. Just something simple. Just to hold it down, you could always drop a big piece of weight on it, a big block of lead. And then as you turn it, it stays centered on here. So this would revolve on the bearing. This could be mounted in something, like I said, or you could just make it like this. You wasn't gonna drive it. You want to drive with the motor, I'd be using this shaft. Because this shaft will turn, drive this through this bearing. For those of you who aren't mechanics, it could be a little complicated, but most of us mechanical people know exactly what I'm saying. Hopefully you do. So here's two choices. Make them like this, but I want to see these for a trailer. Garden trailer. So. 
Hope this ain't too long, too complicated. I just wanted to put it out there and see if anybody else has any ideas. So, thanks again for watching this probably too long a video.